All right, highlight of the day is this. You got to be looking at something in order to use it. You got to recognize that we have an iceberg finder that Dave has developed to find not only how many have been done, how many are being shown, and what does it show? It shows there's more than meets the eye, and it can give you a sense of the market initially going away and then it becoming a magnet. There's a reason why it becomes a magnet. And it's because a lot of people try to initially get long off of him. And after you long, you become a seller and you end up selling it back down to where you got long. But the information that you see from it, like after you get through it to the downside, if you could stay right below it, it's bearish. You go through it and come back above it. It's bullish. But you know where you're wrong. You know what price is important. And that's what's in, and that's what's important. And so you could see. If you can get a few tick head start and the rest could be easy, but right now below it, be careful being long above it. Be careful being short trading is about, you know, not about being wrong. It's about, um, not about being right. Rather it's about how often you're wrong and how long you let that, let, let that go. Like here, if I was, oops, if I was bullish and it come back here, if I was long rather, and it came back through here, I'd either get the hell out or if I was bullish and it got back through there, I'm bearish. I know where I'm wrong at. Right? So it got through it and got back from it. And I'm a little bullish, maybe, maybe long, even though I wasn't, I know where to get out. So I'm not hanging on to this. And if you're bearish and it gets back below it, jump on it. And then there's no coincidence that that's what happened. That becomes your line in the sand. So kind of a real time highlight.